Yo, we are now in the Hongdae area and now we're gonna check some performances on the streets. So just follow me. Performances in Seoul? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's cool. It's, you can see different things like dance, singing, beatboxing, rapping. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Uh, it's kind of bad weather. It's a contemporary art performance right now. Me holding an umbrella. Uh, <laughs> can I arrange this? Can I arrange this? Oh, yes. Where? Oh, uh, upper. Upper? Eh. Hey. Communication. Oh, yeah. Whoa. A break? Excellent. Okay, okay. okay. The weather outside is really awful, it's raining and we just came to coffee shop. And I think that coffee shops are really popular in South Korea. It's sort of a part of the culture because people spend here a lot of time, they study or they work and I heard that there are some rules for the coffee shops that they should be open until like 4 a.m. They should uh, have Wi-Fi, the tables should be really comfortable for working. Uh, all the conditions of the coffee shops. In Russia we have a different concept of coffee shops I think. It's, first of all it's called cafes and there besides coffee you can always get food and drinks so people usually are having proper meals there and drink your alcohol instead of coffee. And uh, what about the Netherlands? <laughs> Those are the best. <laughs> That's all I have to say. They see me rolling in the three performances, I like the singer best because uh, okay for myself I like classic music. You, you know it's raining the day, but they still give give us good performance. I like the dancing performers best because I really like some exciting music. So when they when they are dancing, I want to dance with them. And actually in China is. Not, it's no this kind of performers in the street because industry, industry is it's illegal, right? Yeah. Actually, we have some persons playing guitar or singing in the underground or subway, but they sing for making money. So some place will come here to call them. Home. I think in Russia public performances is not such a thing like here. Uh, you can only find people playing in the underground like guitar or singing, maybe trying to get some change, etc. But not like this. 
that you can meet some indie bands playing in the city center of Moscow or something like this, but that's quite a rare thing. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not a fan of it, to be fair, so... Yeah, and I think also like uh, in Russia it's kind of similar to as in China, as you told already that it's only like on the subways somewhere there and people are not really dancing like here, so that's that's the difference. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.